Okay, good morning and welcome to week four, everyone. Uh, let's see, we've got this week, uh, some of you had no class yesterday. Maybe you're at the beach. I was at the beach, but it was raining, so there was no beach video for you. So this week we got uh, a couple of more WSQs. If we look here, we have WSQ 06 and 07. Pick a number and sum of numbers for both groups. Uh, pick a number is, is simply uh, have the user pick a number between 1 and 100 and you should already generate a random number, but a really random number, uh, or as random as we can get. And, and then have the user guess, and then see if they guess right. And if you want to get even more interesting, uh, tell them how many times they had to guess before they actually got the right answer, and you can see the results here, an example. And uh, again, as always, go and use the book, or go and use uh, your lynda.com videos, or go use the books from the library, or use YouTube, or w use whatever resource you have, or talk to me in class, talk to your colleagues in class, or come see me in my office if you need some more guidance. Uh, remember in your submission, not just to show your code, but also say, hey, where did you find this information? Where did you get some good uh, resources on how to generate a random number? So there, go with that. And the number seven is a simple, uh, summation of numbers. So uh, the sum of the numbers from 1 to 10 is 55. The sum of the numbers from 6 to 10 uh, would be what? 10, 19, whatever it is. I'm too slow at math this morning. But basically you don't want to use the formula to calculate the sum. You want to do a loop. So it, if you look here I'm doing for the sum from 6 to 10 is 0 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. It's plus something, plus the next thing, plus the next thing, plus the next thing until we're finished with the last thing. But you need to start with zero because remember zero is the, the uh, identity for, for addition. So I give you a sample run there, some thoughts. Uh, you might want to talk about uh, what happens if the users put the, the data wrong. What are you going to do with that? Um, again, uh, submit based on what you find as well as what your code is. I gave you a link here in both of these assignments because I submitted them at the same time to a readwrite.com article on GitHub. Uh, it's a command line based but you could also download the GitHub client for Mac or Windows or Linux um, but you might just want to play around with the, the command line based. What I recommend doing is going to GitHub and if you're logged into GitHub like I am here you can click the plus at the top and say create a new something. Uh, you might not be able to create an organization unless you have a credit card handy, but you want to create a new repository like this and maybe you want to call it um, computing homework or something like that. And you can put a comment there. Make it public because you can't make it private unless you want to give them some money. Uh, don't worry about the rest of these fields right now. What you can do is once you have this repository set up you can check it out to your local client and then push your changes back to the GitHub repository. And then that'll get you started on able to put your code inside GitHub and then just give us links to your GitHub code when you submit things. All right, I think that's about it. Oh, the other message is the C++ group, you don't have an exam this week, but you have an exam the next week. Uh, the 8.30 a.m. group on Thursday morning, not this Thursday, so what, today's the second, the third, Today's which day? I can't even remember. Third, uh, so the Thursday group will be on the 12th, right? Yeah, it'll be the 12th, Thursday the 12th at 8.30 a.m. And the 2.30 group will be Friday the 13th. Yes, it is Friday the 13th coming up at 2.30 p.m. will be their exams. The Python group will be the week after that. Make sure you keep track of that and uh, have an awesome week. We'll do some more quizzes as well, just because.